Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how I've created this look and I've also talked through about the new orgasm collection. It's not new anymore, okay? Let's just put it in there. It's not new anymore but I've never talked about it and so I want you to have not just the techniques but also the information about the products that are launching. Of course since it's a whole makeup look uh, I'm not going to be talking only about the orgasm collection but also about some older products, some new discovery. It's gonna be amazing. Just stay with me. If you're supporting this channel make sure that you've clicked on that subscribe button, the ring bell button next to it so you get notified whenever I'm posting new videos. Now let's get into the video. I'm gonna start by applying this Dior primer. This is the Dior Backstage Primer. I have never used uh, this primer before. It's my very first time. So let's see how it performs. Always shake the product before you use it. Very creamy texture. My hair has a mind of its own right now. Let's get into foundation. So I've talked in so many videos about the Dior Backstage Foundation being one of my favorite foundations. It's such a versatile foundation. It's for face and body. It has quite a lot of product. I love it that the packaging is plastic. The product itself, of course, I, I love it a lot. They have a great range of colors. I use it mostly for my clients. I'm gonna be honest with you, my whole kit is basically all Dior backstage foundations. I prefer to apply this foundation with a brush. Use any brush of your choice. I use a Sigma foundation and the color that I'm using is 2W. This product is definitely buildable so you can use just one layer for a beautiful natural finish and for night time when you want a little bit more coverage you can build it up for sure. I did not expect Dior to have, you know, such good coverage because usually like high-end brands, Dior and Chanel, and they don't really have much of a coverage in their foundations. And I know for a fact you guys would love this foundation. It sets by itself. It doesn't need a lot of powder or maybe not at all if your skin is normal. If you're oily or um, combination skin you might need a little bit of powder with this one it sets super fast you know there are foundations that just stay on the face and they never set they're super um, glowy like the like the Shiseido the one that I've used in my last few videos I love that one but it's very very different than the Dior backstage so it's very very long-lasting a hundred percent I recommend this Another product that's an old favorite of mine is this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. There's no wonder this product is so popular. It has very, very good coverage. And if you apply the right quantity, even if you have wrinkles around your eyes, it would work for you too. Because a lot of women that are like over 50, they would tell me, oh, that doesn't work for me because I've got wrinkles and this concealer would set in my wrinkles and it's it's a lot about the quantity that you're using if you're light to medium skin tone you might check out custard it's a very very popular color from them before i even started to film i've applied this ultra hd lip booster this is from a makeup forever it won't hurt me to apply a little bit more i know you would love this it's like a liquid balm incredibly soft on the lips not sticky I don't sense any smell I love that it has an applicator I've recently received the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops and this is a new color that they launched this is in Tantalize 54 Tantalize at first when I received this I was like this is so dark for me I, I immediately wanted to put it in my kit but then I tried it on my hand and I thought like let me give this a chance because it could definitely be used as a bronzer so always shake your product before you use it I'll just use an old Morphe brush let's see if it works you know as a bronzer I 
I gently apply it on the cheekbones. Not bad at all. It has a beautiful glow. I just happen to have some blemishes right here, so it, it's only highlighting them. But um, other than that, I love this. This is so pretty. I think it's important for you to know if you're getting this product, this is not the kind of highlighter because it is a highlighter, right? If you are getting this, you should know that it sets very fast. It's not one of those cream or liquid highlighters that you apply it and kind of never sets and you can move it the way you want. This one sets, so just be aware of that. Now I'll go on with the eyes, like I said, I'm gonna use this Orgasm palette from NARS. This is, first of all, such a beautiful palette, like the packaging, everything. And then inside you've got six colors that you could use on the eyes, on the lips, on the cheeks, like anywhere you want. This is more like a universal palette. I'm very curious who comes out with the names at NARS, like I'm very curious. I'm gonna start by applying this color right here. This is called Double Orgasm. I'll take it with my finger. This is the best way to apply these eyeshadows with your finger. This palette does not disappoint. You guys, check out this shine. This is so pretty. We're not gonna leave this just like that shall we? I'm going to take this one right here. This is the original orgasm color with this pencil brush. Let's see if it does anything. Not much. Now if I will leave these just like that, they are going to crease, right? Because they're creamy. I know that so many of you are being bothered by eyeshadows that crease so in order to stop that if you don't like it what you could do is use just a traditional eyeshadow on top like a powder one or a pigment like the one that i'm going to use right now this is a bodyography pigment this is they have probably the best pigments that i've tried this is in eclipse and let me show you on my hand how absolutely beautiful this one looks. Check this out. I'm not sure if you can see. So I'll just take this with my finger and apply it all over the mobile lid. Now I feel the need of a little contrast and I'm not going to use black, but I will use this dark brown Marc Jacobs crayon this is so good and long lasting and i'm gonna apply this right at the base of my lashes like in between them you see i do a little flick right here at the end and then with a pencil brush, this is a Sigma E34 brush. I'll just smudge it. So we create this smoky effect right at the base of the lashes. But then we still have the pink. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that brown crayon right at the end of my eye. Just to lift the eyes a bit. It's always so much easier and so much more forgiving to use a pencil if you want to frame your eyes than an eyeliner. And also black, um, it's a very unforgiving color. It's not really a color black, but you get the point. So I always suggest my clients to use brown, dark brown instead of black. Black, it's pretty harsh. Take a flat brush with a little bit of concealer and perfect this shape at the end of your eye. This is going to give a very clean look, you see? And it's going to also help you in case you haven't been very precise with your pencil. Before anything else, I wanna set this makeup in place because I haven't. 
In this video, I'm going to use the translucent powder veil from Hourglass. I remember I didn't like this one so much, but let's just give it another try. Sigma F37 brush. I want to use a little bit of that brown pencil. This is an earthquake, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned the color. I'll apply it a little bit lower than the than where my lashes are. Just to give it the illusion that my eyes are bigger, I will blend it. Diffuse it like this. I'm not connecting this line right here with this one right here, okay? When you have small eyes like me, that doesn't help you. You can see what a difference this made. Now let's coat those lashes with Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. This is such a good mascara. Maybe it's not for every day because it gives you massive lashes. But for like special occasion, mmm. Okay, now let's try the Orgasm Lip Gloss. I wanted to try the whole collection because I just did a giveaway on my Insta stories with the whole collection. This almost feels like it's not sticky, as you can see. Uh, it feels like more like an oil. However, with my hair being down, I might take this off later. Here is the original orgasm blush that inspired the whole collection. I mean, this is an iconic product. It's not the original packaging. As you know, it's uh, the NARS has that beautiful black velvet uh, package, but this I'm not bad at this one. It's very pretty. It's been a very long time since I haven't applied this blush. I'll take it with this Il Maquillage 126 brush. And I'm gonna apply this a little bit higher, like right here. It's a beautiful pink with golden shimmer. I used to love, love this blush. I still like it, but I don't love it anymore. I've got others that I think look much better on me. The Orgasm collection also includes this highlighter. Now, you guys know I love NARS, but this product was a little bit of a disappointment for me. Um, so, here it is. It, it, it's really disappointing and because I love NARS and I love all the other products in the collection just this one doesn't really speaks to me and decided not to use it since I don't like it all right guys the last product that I'm gonna use is this Tatcha the satin skin mist the more I use this the more I am absolutely crazy about this if you are combination skin or oily skin you would love this because it gives you a very beautiful matte but like with a satin finish of the skin at the bottom of the bottle there is a little bit of a powder so you gotta make sure you mix it well and then do like two three um, puffs Alright guys, now this is the final look. Let's recap a little bit about the products. Definitely love this. I don't know if it's going to help with the longevity of the makeup, but I love how uh, the foundation looks. So these two together, love affair. I would purchase this if, first of all, if you like the colors, because there are not a lot of colors available. The, I've used this because I had it and I wanted to try it, although the color was not the best one for me. It was way too dark. The whole purpose of my videos is to make you use the products that you already have, that you don't know how to use them, find them different ways of using, and of course, give you an honest, subjective 
uh, review about products that I try. This guy right here, I did not expect to like it so much, but I do love it. The Lip Booster from Makeup Forever. This is great. Creamy eyeshadows. You can use them as a base. You can use it a little bit like on the highest point of your cheekbone, a little bit on the bridge of the nose. It's a great purchase. I mean, it's a good product, but it's, you know, not something that you absolutely have to have. Comfortable on the lips, I would say. It hydrates. It gives a little a slightly pink color, as you can see. Very elegant packaging. If you love NARS and you love a good, more like an lip oil, I recommend this, but it's not something that you absolutely have to have. The Orgasm Blush, it's like a cold product. Do I use it still? No, but I would feel empty without this. It's my, it's my very first luxury product that I have ever bought in my life. Now, I'm not as excited about it, but try it in the store if you can. Uh, see if you like it. Maybe it's going to be your new favorite. I don't know. I've already talked about this and said that I don't like it at all. A very pleasant surprise was this brand called Bodyography. They have the best pigments and this one, Eclipse, that I've used on my eyelids, it's just so beautiful, especially for nighttime. It has like blue reflex, very, very subtle, like you wouldn't even tell. It's a great, great brand. Uh, so far, what I've tested from, from them, it's amazing. I recommend their pigments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to show support to my channel, make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click on that ring bell button as well. Follow me on Instagram as well and watch my stories because I post a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I should only stay in the profile like that. Give me a break. It's just vegan chocolate. It has basically zero calories. It's invisible. I've opened the fridge for like five times in the past 10 minutes. It's the same thing every time I open it. How oh, I love yogurt so much. Continue.